Hello Rising Entrepreneurs. I am Twinkle Agrawal, the CEO and co-founder of Goodreads. Myself is Rakshi, the COO and co-founder of Goodreads. This is Arushi Goel, the CFO and co-founder of Goodreads. Now let's see what our startup is all about. Our brand name is Goodreads and this is the logo of our brand. Our tagline is as the page turn you earn. Our startup Goodreads provides you a platform where you can buy both used and brand new books. You can even donate your old books to needy people. By providing books to the needy, we fulfill CSR and contribute in educating the youth of India. We provide books for free to people who are really in need and want to be educated but can't afford to buy these books. The only amount you have to pay is minimum transportation charges. The best thing about second hand books is that they are affordable and easily accessible at different places. They are literally free of cost. This is a trademark certificate of our company. This is generally a partnership startup owned by three entrepreneurs by me Twinkle Agrawal by Chitrakshi and by Arushi Now let's see how we have funded our business We have raised capital of 50 lakhs from angel investors and we have given them 10% equity share We have raised capital of 50 lakhs from crowdfunding and the rest from bootstrapping Twinkle Agrawal has contributed 1 crore 50 lakh towards the company with equity share of 30% and the same goes with Chitrakshi and with Arushi. Now let's see what the features of our business are. This is both online as well as offline business. This is a combination of B2C and C2C form of business. The total valuation of our company is 5 crores. Our company deals in the sale of books. Now let us see the services that our company Goodreads offer to its customer: selling of old books, purchase of books, and donation of books. Let us first see the steps involved in selling and donating. Step one is registration, where one needs to add the email ID, contact details, and address. Step two is entering the details of the book which the person wants to sell or donate. Here, title of the book, name of the author, edition of the book. and along with that photo and video of the book should also be attached now the next step only applies for selling and that that is price fixation after seeing the condition of the book the addition of the book the system decides the price that we offer to the seller and if he is satisfied with that he may proceed further now this slide explains the further three steps if the seller has proceeded we collect the books from his house and then review the condition of the book and then we within 10 days we decide that whether we have to make the payment to the seller or return the book back after viewing the condition of the book now let us see the steps involved in purchasing of books step 1 is registration their email id contact details and address will be mentioned step 2 is selecting the book which the person wants to purchase and then here title of the book and name of the author should be mentioned step 3 is payment here the payment has to be made mainly for two charges and that is the selling price which vary from book to book and delivery charges which is the transportation charges that we charge to our customers now let us see the steps involved for issuing of book step 1 is registration where again the email id contact details and address is required step 2 is selecting the book that the person wants to get issued a title of the book and name of the author will be mentioned the payment for issue for this we have two categories of customer one who is the member of our company and the other who is not the member of our company a member is liable to pay only the membership charges whereas a non member has to pay issuing charges delivery charges as well as security charges we have three membership plans for our customers these are for one month by paying 
for 6 months by paying 800 and for 1 year by just paying 1400 the customer gets an off on security issuing and delivery charges now let us see what are security charges that we charge to our customers these are charged mainly to the people who issue the books now it may happen that he or she who has issued the book damages the book or doesn't return the book on time so to prevent such a situation we charge security charges if the book is returned in the perfect condition such that we can list it again on our rack then we return the security charges back but if not if it is damaged or lost then we retain these charges with ourselves they are calculated by reducing issuing charges from the actual cost of the book now coming on to receiving of free book step 1 is registration for which the email id contact details and the address needs to be written scanned photo of aadhar card and bpl card also needs to be uploaded step 2 is the selection of the book for which the title of the book and the name of the author needs to be written moving on to the third step which is transportation either transportation charges needs to be paid or one has to collect the book from pick up location if possible offline book stores our company also offers an offline facility in which the purchase of the book selling of old books and donation of the books can be done offline thus fulfilling dual objectives now let's see what is the first year's performance of goodreads coming on to the revenue model used books accounts for 20% new books for 30% offline stores for 30% and book issuing for 20%. Thus the total revenue is 3 crore. Moving on to the expenditure. Buying of new books accounts for 40 lakh, old books for 20 lakh, miscellaneous for 40 lakh, offline expenditure for 40 lakh, salary expenditure for 40 lakh and transportation for 20 lakh. Thus the total expenditure is 2 crore. Thus the graph shows. Now let's see whether we got profit or loss. As we know, profit is equals to revenue minus expense. Revenue is three crore and our expense was two crore. Thus, we got a profit of one crore. Now let's see what are certain USPs of our business. We want to give other people the opportunity to discover for themselves that one book. that could change their life we allow people to donate their old or used books to us which we donate for them we have mainly taken up this initiative to provide books to poor people and contribute in educating the youth of india also if the customer wants they can purchase new books as well at regular cost thus fulfilling dual objectives Also the 100% replacement policy is possible with terms and conditions applied. We are offering you a platform where you can save cost on books, novels, etc. Also we provide our customers all the services on both online as well as offline platforms. You can place order or donate books from any part of the country just with the help of our app Goodreads. As the page turn, you earn For further details you can mail us in our mail id customercare@goodreads.net also we have our website www.goodreads.com you can go there for further details thank you thank you thank you